Dr. Abstract. In the last teaser, we took a look at some physics and we made a ball that we could drop and drag around like that with physics. Let's turn that into an emoji or something. So what we can do is instead of a circle here, we will say, give me a new emoji. And we will center that and we will add physics to that. Um, the emoji, well, let's find an emoji. How do we do that again? Uh, windows period or something like that. There's a smiley emoji, for instance. There's the smiley emoji. Okay, so that's good. So we take that smiley emoji and we put it inside of quotes right there, like so. And then we say a size, say 100. So that's just the size of the emoji. It's really a font in a sense. We're dot centering it, but we'll want to center reg that. That's important. So an emoji being a label in a sense or a letter is actually square. And we're going to want this to seem like it's round. So that's another thing here. When we add physics, if we're adding something square, then it's gonna bounce like it's square and stuff. And we don't want that. So we can say shape colon circle, and that would make it circular. And let's see, we need a comma there. So we save that up. Oh, and look at that. However, it looks like it's a little bit off as in there's probably, uh, I don't know, some extra space in those letters uh, that it's showing and the emoji doesn't realize that. So at the moment it's uh, a bit off. So if we want, we can use the contract here. Um, I don't know, it looks like about 15 pixels or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty close. What if we wanted to make the emoji roll down a ramp? Then we can add a new rectangle here. Rectangle. I think I spelled that wrong. <laughs> rectangly. A new rectangly. We can make it, say, 200 by 30 or something like that. We'll just make it black for now. We'll dot center reg. There we go. Everything in physics needs to have a center reg. Otherwise, it will be off by a little bit. So it's registration point in the center. That puts it in the center, but let's rotate it a bit. Dot rot. Uh, and we'll rotate it 30 degrees. The other thing is we have to remember to add physics to it. So let's uh, drop this down so we can see it. And dot rot and add the physics after you position it and rotate it and scale it or anything like that, then add physics. So dot add physics like so. And in this case, we're going to make it stationary. The very first parameter of add physics is whether you want it dynamic or not. Dynamic is true by default. So if we say false, that means it won't move. And you get this. Oh, how cool is that? Look, we just made, that's a little bit bouncy now. I'll drop it down to 0.5 maybe there. And you can see it roll down the ramp. Isn't that cool? Uh, by the way, this is where you put gravity. And so if you set a gravity zero, then it kind of just stays there. And it's it's like an air hockey game, sort of. And you can find out if things contact and, and score. If we said minus 10, what do you think it would do? Oh, it floats up like a balloon. <laughs> There's a happy balloon. So I'm Dr. Abstract. If you want to try all this stuff out yourself, then come to zimjs.com slash or, or uh, zimjs.com slash teaser. And that's indeed where you'll see um, uh, the, the Zim logo up top and so forth. And anytime you press that Zim logo, you're going to come in and find out all about Zim. So there's the whole Zim site with all sorts of things to do. Have a great day or night. Cheers.